Stay far away. The Neptune 4 Pro is arguably the best printer on paper you can buy right now for $300. The speed, print quality, build and features are almost unmatched at this price. I love this printer with its linear rails, 300 degree capable hot end, detachable screen, 500 mm per second speeds, blower fan, filament sensor. It's a beautiful printer. It prints quickly and honestly isn't the loudest printer I've ever had. As long as you're not a light sleeper, you could totally sleep in the same room with it. It makes fast and beautiful prints. Go out and buy one. Okay, goodbye. Are you crazy? Don't buy this thing. Now, don't get me wrong, you can create beautiful prints with this machine, but this machine is defective. This is in fact the second Neptune 4 Pro I've received with this very same defect. Now, if all you're looking to do is create some nice looking prints, then by all means go out and get this thing. But if you're going to be making functional prints, pieces that fit into each other or worse, fit into something in the real world, you're going to be quite surprised when you can never really get them to fit like they should. This is the second Neptune 4 Pro in a row that has had the X and Y axes misaligned. Now, the misalignment is barely noticeable. You're simply not going to be able to eyeball it or see it in any of your prints. Unless you pull out your calipers. When my first functional print unexpectedly failed to work, I printed a cylinder. I measured it and it seemed fine, but then I measured a different spot on the cylinder. That's when it became apparent that the cylinder was not a perfect circle. For a 15mm cylinder, the first printer created the cylinder with a diameter that was inconsistent by about 0.3mm. The second printer was a little better with a 0.2mm inconsistency. Now, this isn't directly on the X or Y axes where you could calibrate the steps. No, the inconsistencies were on the diagonals of the print, which comes from misaligned axes. It can also come about from loose belts, but mine are pretty tight. In fact, the second printer belt failed on the first print and I had to replace it. Another defect. Now, 0.2 or 0.3 millimeters may not sound like a lot, but it's linearly proportional. All your prints will be dimensionally inaccurate up to 2%. So this 35mm cylinder has a 0.4mm variance in diameter. Know that I did not do any of these measurements on the Z-seam, which you expect to bulge out about 0.1mm. Now I hear some of you already writing comments like, 2% variance? I'd love to have a machine that was that accurate. Huh, <laughs> look at this guy trying to achieve CNC perfection with melted plastic and a bed slinger. Sure, you have some merit. You're never going to be dimensionally perfect with 3D prints. However, the inaccuracies of a 3D print are usually consistent with themselves. As in, you could tune the printer to make the inaccuracies as small as possible. That's simply not something you can even attempt to do if your axes are misaligned. Even my old Ender 3 V2 is able to create a perfect circle, with a variance in diameter less than 0.1 millimeters, way less than 0.1 millimeters, on a 25 millimeter cylinder. And while dealing with all of this, I reached out to Elegu to find out what's going on and... Yeah, I can't be mad at them for taking a holiday vacation, but it seems poorly timed. It's also important to note that while the two printers have the same issue, they are both misaligned differently. One resulting in the top left to bottom right being the thickest part of the print, while the other misalignment in the complete opposite direction, making the top right and bottom left the thickest part of the print. Overall, it does have good print quality, but I simply can't recommend a product that chips out with misaligned axes, when even the cheapest Ender 3 would not have this issue. Do you already have a Neptune 4 Pro? Try printing a cylinder. Let me know if yours is also defective or if yours is perfect. <laughs> I'll see you next time.